Independence Day is celebrated each year in America. And independence may be what this killer whale is dreaming about. His name is Keiko, and after 20 years in captivity, he's in training to return to the wild. Not too long ago, he was performing tricks like these for audiences in a marine park. Now, after spending two years in Oregon getting fit for the wild, Keiko is ready to go home to Iceland, where he was captured as a baby. Architects work around the clock building what will be his new temporary home, an enclosure of interlocking plastic tubes known as a bay pen. Meanwhile, Keiko is practicing hunting live fish, and he's getting better all the time. There's just one question. How do you send a whale halfway around the world? How do you send a whale halfway around the world? Airmail, of course. First, Keiko is put into a giant sling. Then he gets a nice rub down with this special ointment, which will keep his sensitive skin from drying out during the trip. Then he's off, the only captive whale ever to go home. And he's going in style. Because he's so big, the Air Force is letting Keiko fly in this special transport plane. There's no movie on this plane, but there is a wet bar in first class. The landing will be tricky, the runway is short, and the cargo is heavy. But this Air Force plane was specially designed for situations like this, and Keiko lands safe and sound. After a short boat ride, Keiko is hoisted out of his container and gets his first glimpse of his new surroundings. The bay pen sits right in the ocean, fresh, cold seawater filled with the tastes and sounds of his youth. Keiko has arrived COD. That's cetacean on delivery.